StadiumDB.com presents Skybet Championship Stadiums Season 2024-2025 Hello! It's time to introduce you to the stadiums where the matches for the next championship season will be played. We will not only examine the venues of the relegated teams and those promoted to the second tier, but also look at regular participants of this league. As many as 24 teams perform in the championship each season, which means that we will show you 24 stadiums from smallest to the largest. And we'll start with 24th place, Kenilworth Road, capacity 12,000, Luton Town. Definitely the most distinctive due to its proximity to residential buildings, this venue returns to the championship. Although Luton Town never became one of the biggest English clubs, they achieved quite a lot here, such as an average attendance of over 25,000 per match. Currently, this number is impossible to reach as the capacity has been reduced by more than half. 23rd place, Kassam Stadium, capacity 12,500, Oxford United. This stadium will debut at the championship level. Oxford United secured promotion by winning the playoffs. The stadium was opened in 2001 its distinctive feature is the reflective glass panelling at the main entrance. It is named after its owner and former club president, Firas Kassam. In February 2023, Oxford revealed plans to build a new 16,000-seat stadium to be opened in 2026. 22nd place, Home Park, capacity 17,000, Plymouth Argyle. Opened in 1893, this venue has a rich history. In 1941, the main stand was bombed, and after a quick rebuild, it still serves today. The plan for a new stadium appeared in 2001, and at the same time, three of the four stands were replaced. Only the main stand remains, whose replacement was supposed to be the second phase of the works. However, this has not yet happened, and in 2011, the club went bankrupt, and the city bought the venue. 22nd place. Matrade Loftus Road Stadium, capacity 18,439, Queen's Park Rangers. Built in 1904, this stadium was the first in the history of British professional football to install artificial turf, OmniTurf, in 1981. It was also home to a rugby team in the past. It has been used for boxing events, with the most notable fight being the WBA Championship bout between Barry McGuigan and Eusebio Pedrosa in 1985. 20th place, The Den, capacity 20,146, Millwall. The Den was the first venue in the UK built based on recommendations from the report following the Hillsborough disaster. At the time of the regulatory change, it was decided that constructing a new venue would be cheaper than adapting the old one to the requirements. The predecessor could accommodate about 50,000 spectators, but only every tenth spectator had a seat. 19th place, Fratton Park, capacity 20,688, Portsmouth FC. Another newly promoted stadium, it was once one of the most impressive in Britain due to its Tudor-style building and richly decorated pavilion with a clock tower. Fratton Park hosted the first match of the England national team. Currently, only the corner house remains from those times. Portsmouth has long sought possibilities for expansion or relocation, but so far none of these plans have come to fruition. 18th place, Swansea.com Stadium, capacity 21,000, Swansea City. When it was still in the planning stages, it was called White Rock, referring to the former copper mine on this site. Opened in 2005, it became the home of Swansea City and the Ospreys rugby team. Following Swansea City's promotion in 2011, the stadium became the first Premier League venue in Wales. It is also the third largest stadium in the country. 17th place, Turf Moor, capacity 21,944, Burnley FC. The stadium of another Premier League relegated team, used since at least 1843, it has been the home of Burnley since 1883. This makes it the second longest continuously used stadium in English professional football. 
The stadium is located on Harry Potts Way, named after the manager who led the club to its first league title in the 1959-1960 season. 16th place, Vicarage Road, capacity 22,200, Watford. The stadium has been home to Watford since 1922 when the team moved to Cassia Road. In 2002, the club's financial situation forced it to sell and lease the grounds. Fortunately, after the Let's Buy Back the Vic campaign and with a little help from Elton John, who donated the proceeds from a concert at this venue, the club managed to buy back the stadium two years later. 15th place, Deepdale Stadium, capacity 23,404, Preston North End. Built in 1875 on the site of Deepdale Farm, the stadium broke attendance records not only during men's football matches before World War II. It is said that Dick, Kerr's ladies FC team, drew over 50,000 spectators to some matches. From 2001 to 2010, the stadium housed the National Football Museum, as Preston North End is one of the founding clubs of the professional league. 14th place MKM Stadium, capacity 25,586. Hull City. Opened in 2002, the stadium is home to two local clubs, Hull City AFC football and Hull FC rugby. The stadium's colors reflect both teams. Though it is city-owned, Hull City has repeatedly announced the possibility of relocating due to the inability to buy the venue. However, the club is currently exploring expansion options to around 30,000 seats, aiming for a return to the Premier League. 13th place, the Hawthorns, capacity 26,688, West Bromwich Albion. This stadium has been home to West Brom since 1900, becoming the club's sixth venue. The Hawthorns was the first football league stadium built in the 20th century completed in just four months. At 551 feet, 168 meters above sea level, it is the highest stadium in the league. We're exactly halfway through and before you get to know the biggest championship stadiums, we encourage you to like this material and leave a comment. 12th place, Ashton Gate, capacity 27,000, Bristol City. Built at the turn of 19th and 20th centuries, the stadium has been the home of Bristol City FC since 1904. It also played a role in British rugby history, with Bristol rugby playing there since 1920. In 2025, the stadium will be one of the hosts of the Rugby World Cup. In the 2023-2024 season, it was also home to Bristol City women, who were promoted to the Women's Super League. 11th place, Carrow Road. Capacity 27,359, Norwich City. Due to the rapid construction, only 82 days, this stadium is called the eighth wonder of the world. Its construction was necessary as Norwich's previous venue was rendered unusable after a part of the pitch sank by 9 meters in 1935. Shortly afterward, it hosted an unusual guest. King George VI, the first monarch to attend a second division match in history in 1938. 10th place, Bet 365 Stadium, capacity 30,089, Stoke City. The Taylor Report effectively forced the construction of this stadium as the previous over-century-old venue no longer met standards. Due to its simple construction, the arena was erected in just a few months. It was inaugurated by Sir Stanley Matthews, the club's greatest legend, who also has a statue in front of one of the stands. When he passed away in 2000, his ashes were buried at the center of the pitch. Ninth place, Ewood Park, capacity 31,367, Blackburn Rovers. Ewood Park was officially opened in April 1882 hosting football, athletics and some form of greyhound racing in the late 19th century. In 1913th, suffragettes attempted to burn down one of the stands as part of their campaign for women's voting rights. From 1992 to 1995, the venue underwent extensive modernization, during which the main stand named after former owner Jack Walker was built. 
Eighth place, Bramall Lane. Capacity 32,050, Sheffield United. After one season in Premier League, Bramall Lane returns to the second tier. It has been the home of Sheffield United since the club's foundation in 1889. It is the oldest major stadium in the world still hosting professional football matches. It was the largest stadium in Sheffield in the 19th century and hosted the world's first football tournament and the first match under artificial light. 7th place – Coventry Building Society Arena Capacity 32,609 – Coventry City Interestingly, the stadium includes a shopping centre with one of the largest Tesco Extra hypermarkets in the UK. Due to numerous disputes, Coventry has used this arena intermittently. Since 2012, the club has twice left and then returned to the venue. The current lease agreement lasts for another seven years, although Coventry still plans to build a new stadium on the southern edge of the city. Sixth place, Cardiff City Stadium, capacity 33,280, Cardiff City. The stadium is used not only by the football team, but also by the rugby team Cardiff Blues, which signed a lease agreement until 2029. The Welsh national football team also frequently plays here. Just five years after opening, the venue was selected to host the 2014 UEFA Super Cup. It replaced the nearby Ninian Park, which was then demolished and replaced with a residential estate. Fifth place. Pride Park Stadium, capacity 33,597, Derby County FC. Pride Park is another new addition to the championship for the 2024-2025 season. However, it is unique. It is the first stadium to be opened by Queen Elizabeth II, which happened in 1997. The new facility was necessary due to the new regulations introduced after the Hillsborough disaster which the previous venue, Baseball Ground, could not meet. It was clear that a new stadium had to be built. Pride Park is almost a replica of Riverside Stadium, which we will discuss shortly. Fourth place, Riverside Stadium, capacity 34,742, Middlesbrough. Another stadium that was built following the Taylor Report and the prototype for Pride Park. Compared to the Riverside project, Derby's stadium was constructed with just 13 modifications. The venue underwent significant renovations associated with promotion to the Premier League. During the redevelopment of Wembley, it hosted the England national team. The 2004 European Championship qualifying match against Slovakia set a record attendance of 35,000. Third place, Hillsborough Stadium, capacity 34,835. Sheffield Wednesday. The tragic history of Hillsborough probably needs no introduction. Before this event, the stadium was one of the most important venues in England. It hosted as many as 27 FA Cup semi-finals and in 1934 it achieved its highest ever attendance, over 72,000. Ironically, today the stadium does not meet all the recommendations of the Taylor Report. The section in one of the corners lacks a roof even though the guidelines specify that there should be a roof wherever there are seats. Second place, Allen Road, capacity 37,608, Leeds United. This stadium is a piece of history. The arena's origins date back to 1878 and are linked to the nearby pub, the Old Peacock. Not long ago, the club mentioned redeveloping the venue and increasing its capacity to as much as 55,000. For the moment, however, the arena is what it is. For this reason, it is quite often the object of jokes from English fans. First place, Stadium of Light, capacity 38,707, Sunderland. According to the original plans, the stadium was supposed to hold only 34,000 people but three years after its inauguration, the capacity increased by more than 14,000. Its name is a tribute to the miners, many of whom are still among Sunderland's supporters. It refers to the lamp that miners carry during their work. There's also a monument to this lamp in front of the venue. The stadium has hosted England national team matches twice. Those are all the venues that will host championship matches next season. Let us know in the comments which one is your favorite and why. 
Thank you and see you next time.